All right, you can unmute now. Hello! Welcome to Comics and Dragons, the comic book D&D show where we talk about comics and D&D put into the same book. This this is my lovely <coughs> co-host, Bree, who just decided to cough for no goddamn reason, and I'm your host, Dylan, and today's book is monstrous. What feels like the longest book ever. <laughs> It is a very long book. <laughs> it is not all... just very long. <laughs> you say like 240 pages? 208. 208? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> it has very pretty art. It does. It has very yeah. pretty art, and I love it. <laughs> like, it has um... this very... Um, very interesting art style that I did not. I mean, I remember I saw it, but it was it was very different. And different uh, when I looked at it. Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks painted. Um, first of all, before I do, before I say anything about this book, uh, the writing. Give me a second. Book details. It's written by Ma Marjorie Liu. And with art by Sana Takeda. Um, this first volume was apparently six issues. Yes, it is. It's six issues long. Huh. I, I looked that up before I uh, got it. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, it does not feel like six issues. What does it feel like to you? Ten. <laughs> There's a lot of exposition. There is a lot of exposition. A lot of exposition. Um, like we go back into I, flashbacks. We go to like a slave auction. Yeah, that, all that stuff was the best part, but the actual exposition itself was definitely overwhelming at some points for me. <laughs> it was very hard to keep track. I liken this to, like, the Witcher Netflix show, which I know Bree hasn't watched. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> because it's Bree? <laughs> I don't even expect him to know what the Witcher is. <laughs> I'm sure he does. <laughs> I'm sure he knows it's a video game. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's a, he knows it's a video game. He knows there might have been books. There were books? Okay, never mind. <laughs> there was also a weird Polish... Anyways, um, I'm getting off topic. I liken this to the Witcher TV show, which decided to take a weird jump in which it took three different timelines and converged them together. And I feel like that's what they're trying to do with Monstrous. It's very well done. It's a very interesting story. But, and the art is very good. But, with all the exposition and everything, it's very overwhelming. Um, yeah, it is very overwhelming. Especially in the first first like the first issue yeah we is. ju we jump around a lot we meet a lot of characters without actually meeting any characters yeah um the first issue is definitely like the, i guess that's the reason why it's so extra long because 
the Rangers decided to poke a lot into that bird this year just to set everything up before the story could get started. Which really, which is not a bad thing. Like it, books do this all the time. Yeah, it's just an interesting way of telling your story. I did. I did. I gotta say, um, I got a lot out of the cat. Uh, we have a we have a friend who who been on this show that who loves cats, and I was able to send them cat pictures because of this book. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm now gonna need to know which friend this is because this that's a lot of people. It's a dog or Gwen. Oh, it's Gwen. Okay, because. Yeah. Okay, you call her, you know Miss, you know her as Gwen too. Great, sweet. Yes, of <laughs> course I know her as Gwen. So I, I wasn't sure if everyone was calling her Gwen or not. I just knew that as she randomly did, I was like, I guess she's going by Gwen. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we know a lot of cat people, just a lot. <laughs> Gwen is the only one I actually know who definitely does. I don't know anyone else in, in our chat who does. <laughs> I mean, I know that. I mean, I guess Violet has a joke. Whatever. We, we, I got it. Got it. Okay. Cats. There. Yes. Cats. <laughs> Just cats. Um, <laughs> is this book still going? Yes, it is. It actually, the last issue for it actually came out last week. Oh. Like the last last issue. No, not the last, not, not the last issue, but like an issue came out last week. Oh, okay, cool. Last... I mean, I'm now looking at the omnibus for monstrous because it's there is a monstrous omnibus. It's 521 pages long. <laughs> They like to fit a lot of story in, and I do like that. Yes. Yes, it is a lot of story. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's book. also very impressive that they've got, for 32 issues, the same team. Yeah. That actually is probably the most impressive thing about it. Yeah. Because usually you would think you would lose at least the artist. Mm. But, would you recommend this to like a first time reader no <laughs> no I would not as well it, it sounds mean it sounds really mean that we're saying this we're not trying to be mean it's a good book it's got twists and turns that you don't expect but it's such a leap. Again, we talked about the page count already. It's yeah. a long book. <laughs> it's an investment. Of, it's, an in, of... it's an investment. Yeah. Um, like I said, it does. It, it does slow down after the first issue. You know, so after that, you know, it's only like I think like twenty three pages each yeah. issue after that. So not as but bad. the but the first issue being seventy five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the vo at like the next volumes and stuff. It doesn't seem to be that m many pages after volume one. They really want to hook you in. In the yep. first volume. Yeah, that, that, that's the point, I guess. And, I mean, good on them. <laughs> but... Tiny bit... A tiny bit less exposition. I feel like... There was also stuff that I didn't understand, because there's like, lang like... They were talking in... While it was English, they were speaking in, like a dialect that I didn't understand. I feel like those little, like you, you know, in like old comics when they're talking in like a weird language, they'll have like a bubble that's like a legend. Uh -huh. I feel uh -huh. like that would have been useful here. Yeah. 
I definitely I can I can definitely agree with that. Uh, it does. It, I, I, um, it, this book is also a very steampunk, and I do because I I you know sometimes you know I love reading, uh, the little how 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 you issue has like a little after image by the author who speaks on the book. Um, I do and I do think because uh, in that the author talks about how this book. Uh, was made and how it was dealing with a lot of things going on in China at the time, <laughs> and how it dealt with a lot of like old Chinese wars and things like that. And um, you can kind of get that sense when you read when you when you look back at the book. I didn't get it from the first issue immediately, but as I kept reading, I, I did kind of get that because the art style is kind of has it does have this very like Asian like style to it. Yeah. Um, that you notice throughout, which I, which I enjoy. I do enjoy the art. Mm -hmm. The sheeting all looked very good. Like you see this shriveled up dead body, and it looks yeah. horrifying. Oh yeah, this book is really dark too. There's a lot yeah. of really dark moments in this. The uh, book is really dark and. The coloring is just immaculate. Yeah, and, 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 you, and the facial expressions really do a lot to try to convey a lot of different emotions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely one of these books that I can look at from an objective standpoint and just say, this is definitely a really masterfully crafted book. Yes. And and, and, and I believe this book does have like a lot of awards. I think it won a couple of Eisners. Yeah. As which, well. So. Yeah. Which it definitely deserves. <laughs> yeah. So it's, an, so it's an Eisner Award winning book. Now, okay. Here's the hard hitting question Would you, if. Would you continue reading it? Um, All right, that's already a bad answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe not likely, but maybe it depends on how many more cats are in this in the next week. <laughs> Brain works through comedy. There you go. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're not, we are not, we do not, we do not claim to be comic book reviewers. We are not, well, actually, Brie does claim to be a comic, review, comic book reviewer. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, we, I mean, this is not a just like, I was just trying to be like, destroy this book, burn it in flames of fire. This is a horrible yeah, book. We, no, we, no, we, we enjoyed not, it. We are not paid critics. We're not paid critics. <laughs> we enjoyed the book. I think I think we can both re agree with that. We we enjoyed the book, but <laughs> I don't think it kept us hooked. Yeah. I think if we were reading it from issue one, like, when it came out, maybe. No, I wouldn't have read it. For, uh, bro, if I, if, if I had saw 70 pages at issue one with all the exhibition, I would have never, I would have dropped the book so fast. I, I, I am now it. interested in how much monstrous <laughs> issue one is. That's a good question. If I saw seventy a seventy page book, like I I I, I, I drop so many long winded books that come out on a monthly basis. Okay, so I I, I, I I'm actually I'll... I'm actually glad I read the trade on. I'm actually really glad I read the trade. Yeah, this would be a great trade waiting series. Um, so volume uh, the first issue on Comicsology is free. <laughs> All seventy um, pages of it. Um. 
Monster. That's actually really good. That's right? actually a really nice film. Issue one. Price. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh wait, that's thirty-one. Thirty-one? <laughs> can't tell. I, mean, I can pull it up on Comicsology. No, no, I got it. I got it. Cause okay, Comicsology yeah. doesn't have it, have the actual price, so I have to go on to a different website. Uh, Monstrous Issue One was four ninety nine. That's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, for a seventy page issue one. For a seventy page issue one, it was four ninety nine, which you know, with with comic books issue one is usually the most expensive issue of any book. Mm-hmm. So Four ninety nine for a seventy page book. It's not too bad, and the fact that Image hasn't canceled this book again. It has. I think Monsters has gotten a lot of press, though. Too. I think Neil Gaiman has even talked about Monsters at one point. I believe. Hey, Neil Gaiman, if you want to come onto our show. <laughs> We'll talk. I'll I'll talk about literally anything. <laughs> you want to talk about that Sandman series you're about to put out on Netflix? I'll do it. Yes, Neil Gaiman has talked about monsters, calling gaudy beauty, extravagant horror twined around each other and elegant as their subjects. Hey, Neil Gaiman, <laughs> do you want to just slightly talk about? Not good enough? That'd be great. <laughs> the fact that Kieran Gillen might be talking about us is just so exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably talk about this. We might be getting a new show. Who knows? We might be. Might be. Might be. Uh, it's going to be a four-week-long thing. Yeah, new show. It's Hooray. gonna it's gonna run every two months. It's gonna be four weeks a month. Uh, and depending on how people, uh, not how people you know watch it, but you know how pe how my players, if they figure out the plot. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, all they have to do is look at Wanda, our WandaVision podcast, which I have told them that they can't watch. But let's face it, they probably will. Um, <coughs> I'm honestly thinking of just putting this one out, delaying WandaVision as far as I can. Because... I think the uh, I think the name will instantly tip them off. Oh, oh, you give me this very specific name. <laughs> well, I'm just going to say we talk about WandaVision. No, I mean, care. who cares? It's uh, fine. It's fine. Yeah. The play the characters don't know, so that's going to be uh but yeah. The fact that Kieran Gillen might be talking about us is just exciting. <laughs> it definitely can be uh, to have a writer uh, of comics talk about show like this that has 16 subscribers. 17! 17! Haha! 17! 17! <laughs> you aha uh -huh. 17 subscribers not 16 oh 
well. We say, yeah, that's such a great, cool. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Someone isn't advertising us, so. <laughs> hey, I am posting videos in places. You're posting videos and, not, and still not advertising yeah. a show. <laughs> that you're yeah. on, man. <laughs> you're yeah. on the show. Okay. Hi. Hi you guys. Hi hi hey fellow listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. Um did you guys see this guy? This guy's calling me out. Bully him on Twitter. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bully me on Twitter. See if I can. <laughs> I'll fucking take you down. Take you downtown. <laughs> But yeah, um, back to Monstrous. Monstrous, good book! Yee! It is a good book. Yeah, but, you know, wouldn't continue it. Me either. I'm just phonics, I'm the one who picked it out. <laughs> yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> I am so excited for next week. Uh, Kasaga? Kasaga, yeah. Yeah. Tiff episode, Taga from me. Oh my god. We, I just tweeted Tiffany, hey, we're doing a Saga episode, you want to join? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the first volume of Saga, we're just going to talk about it. Yeah. I'm not actually going to do that because I feel like it would be weird. And that's how and that's how I get blocked on Twitter. But, you know. That's <laughs> how <laughs> I get blocked on Twitter. I am stupid. I don't get off, I get muted. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I still need a special guest for the 25th episode. Hey, Bree. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Do you think Mayu can come back? <laughs> could be a cleric maybe okay <laughs> you know you've said maybe to me about jo rejoining the show so many times i have it's great right no it isn't because i'm like hey three i need a little bit of chaos and you're like maybe and i'm like fuck you <laughs> <laughs> chaos no, we all love chaos we all love watching people burn or things burn all the world burn anyways uh I feel like we exhausted everything we were going to talk about uh Fucking yeah. monstrous. Uh, I am going to talk about, for a quick second, something's killing the children. Because this is just where I advertise <laughs> Boom Studios. <laughs> hey, Boom Studios, you want to sponsor Not Good Enough? We really like your books. And by we, I just mean the guy who runs the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Something's Killing the Children 
is an amazing horror book that sets a DN basically a D and D um campaign in modern life. It is basically die, but you know if none of the ca- characters figured out that they're in a sh- a, a tabletop RPG. It is so cool. The main character is so unlikable, but so good. The art you know, that they have. What makes a wait? What makes um this unlikable character good? Oh, she's just a badass. She just <laughs> fucks people up. Mm. So we're thinking like love to hate type person or yeah, like... love to hate. <clears throat> it's written by James Tynion the Fourth, who does great books all around. I'm just getting back into his Batman run, and the first issue, the fir- the first issue after Infinite Frontier, so damn good. It has Scarecrow. It's so it's <clears throat> it's going to be a horror book, and I love love it when James Tynion writes horror. Because Jim T- James Tinian knows how to write horror. <laughs> he knows how to freak you out with like the subtlest things, like "Oh shit, what's that? Oh shit, what's that? Are those eyes in the blackness in those shadows?" And it's drawn, but uh, back to something's killing the children. Something's killing the children has art by Werther Deladera. I think that's how you pronounce it. So good. It does. It has this style of sketching. You know, you know the 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 art where it's like you got sketchy lines and all that. It's not like that. It's much more refined lines, but the faces are unnatural. And almost alien like. Like the main character's eyes are green, and she wears a bandana with teeth on it. With, with a smile, with like smiling jaw on it, and it looks amazing. She kicks a fucking ghost. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the art now. It, it oh, it is a uh, kind of weird looking. It actually works really well. Yeah, uh, it works it's... really well with the book. You no, know, you know what? You know what? Here's always my thing with artwork. And I was just like talking about this um, last night. Uh, it's like, because I guess because like I talked a little bit before about like the, we talked about how the die artwork, um, like like at certain points is kind of pretty, but like it's not like my favorite style. I think cause what it is is when like it's hard to tell what's going on in a panel. And I can tell with this, I could easily figure out, like, I could feel like I could see everything in this artwork, um, even by how it's paneled out. Yeah, it's... Like, um... It's paneled interestingly. It creates... It makes it almost feel claustrophobic. Like, there's, like, diagonal panel work, which I always like when it, like, it feels like the panel's bleeding out. Uh, what should I post this image of, of on the panels? Uh, just post it in the Nat Goodness chat. Okay. The creatures that they, they've created for... Um, the story is look. Oh my god, that is so good. That's some great panel work. <laughs> I'm gonna post that entire page. Uh, <laughs> but the creatures that they've created for these stories look amazing and creepy. They almost look that ve- like the Venom symbiote if it was like. Mm attached to a praying mantis that grew from pim particles. It looks amazing. (laughs) 
and we learn about like the secret society of monster killers. It's all good. It's all just a good story. So, yeah. Uh, uh, if you're going to check out a book, I would suggest checking out something of kill- killing the children. Because something is always killing the children. Yes, Bree. Oh, something oh, always oh. is killing the children. <laughs> anyways i hope you enjoyed the podcast we will see you next time in which we're just going to talk about saga volume one and maybe volume two if i convince brie to read it (laughs) and if i if i somehow weirdly convince tiffany to come on to onto the show (laughs) i have magical powers Yes, make magic happen. Make Tiffany come on to Not a Good Number 17 for <laughs> Honestly, I think that would be a subscriber boost in itself. Anyways, <laughs> we will see you next time. Peace. Peace.